Four and a half billion years ago, a vast celestial body slammed into the young Earth. The violence of the impacts flung a cloud of debris into orbit. Cold and gravity did the rest, forming the Earth's natural satellite, the Moon. But ours isn't the only Moon. There are many other moons in our solar system and some scientists consider them to be worlds in their own right, where life in some form might exist. So a number of missions have spent time aimed at exploring them further. Jupiter, the giant planet, has moons that NASA's 1995 Galileo probe spent eight years exploring. They include the sulfurous volcanic inferno of Io and Europa, lurking in the coldest part of the system, hidden beneath its frozen crust, an immense liquid ocean. In December 2000, the joint NASA-European Space Agency mission Cassini-Huygens took the first ever high-resolution photos of Jupiter and its moons as it passed towards its main goal, Saturn, its rings and its system. Launched in 1997, it took seven years for Cassini-Huygens to reach Saturn's orbit on a mission scheduled to last until 2011. Cassini-Huygens has revealed much about the structure of Saturn's rings, which are made up of millions of lumps of rock and ice orbiting the gaseous planet like an army of mini-moons. It also captured the first images of Phoebe, the most distant of Saturn's satellites and it revealed the pristine beauty of Enceladus, the ice moon, with its dramatic volcanoes at its south pole. At the Free University of Berlin, another research project examines the craters made by meteorites crashing into Iapetus, another of Saturn's moons, discovered in 1671 by the astronomer Jean-Dominique Cassini. This icy celestial body, 1,500 kilometers in diameter, has a number of unusual topographical features. Almost half of its surface is as dark as coal, while the other half is as bright as snow. Images from the probe taken in 2004 also reveal an icy ridge running almost entirely around its equator. And then there's Titan, Saturn's biggest and most fascinating moon. In January 2005, the European lander Huygens separated from Cassini. It set down as planned and on time and what it sent back stunned the scientific world. Huygens lasted barely a few minutes on Titan's hostile surface, but in that time, it opened new horizons. Which is why Europe plans to do more exploration at national and international level in the near future. The European Space Agency will, for example, be part of Chandrayaan, the Indian lunar mission. Indeed, the quest to explore the universe's moons, including our own, is far from over.